Hey up you wonderful people, my name is Kafrak, and welcome to Prey. Boy, oh boy, this game, this game. Nice slow build up and everything, nice interesting premise and everything else. Now, I'm going to admit something here. I'm going to admit something after a nice bit of waffling there. I'm going to admit something. I never played the original Prey game. Shock, or I know, sin. But... At the time, I wasn't really interested into this kind of PC game at all. It wasn't really kind of my thing. But now I've gotten older and everything else. This seems really interesting to me. I'm super excited to see what this holds. Like, just like these weird aliens that are able to mimic, duplicate, or hide in objects. This is... Yeah, this is going to be interesting. This is all I can say. So, let's get into it. Let's have some fun. Let's do it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2032. Hi, Mr. Mrs. Alarm Clock. Good morning. That's some that's some nice songs. That's cool. Yeah, just switch that off. Thanks. Don't want to listen to that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that is nice. That is so cool. So my character's name is Morgan. Hi. Hello. Pre-order bonus. I didn't even pre-order the game. Lol. Okay. Anyway. Thanks. Right. Hi. No, I'm not. Look, it's nice and lovely. Okay. Okay. All right, Alex, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Why, why do things need shaking up? Why? Why? It looks pretty fine. Looks pretty... Humanity looks pretty dandy to me. Looks peaceful, beautiful. The Golden Gate Bridge over there, so we must be in San Fran. I assume. I assume, but assuming never works very well, since I don't really know bridges. I'm not a bridge expert, but that looks like the Golden Gate Bridge to me. Apologies if I am incorrect. I've never been to the Golden Gate Bridge. I've seen pictures of it, but uh, I'm, I'm waffling. Anyway. Okay, let's have a... Let's have a wonder. Okay, there's a... Oh! Well, this is nice. This is a very sturdy piece of furniture. Not gonna lie, very sturdy piece of furniture. Okay, frayed wire. Uh, okay, oh, hello. What was that? Okay, interesting, cool. Uh, burnt circuit board, we'll take that. Plastic tubing, we'll take that as well. Well, these may be useful for us in the future. Uh, Hands-on electronics, read. Except for the preface on to Hands-on electronics by Antoinette Sokolo. So, 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 Sorry, I'm not good with it. I'm not. I'm not good with names. Anyway, by working through a series of practical experiments, this humble manual will introduce you to the fundamentals of modern analog and digital electronics. By the end, you will be able to construct any simple circuit. As Thomas Edison once said, to invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Yep, that is true. That is very true. To get you anywhere in life, you need a pile of shit and a big imagination. Ooh, I'm good with pizzas by the looks of it. Uh, ooh, Paradox. Thank you. Employees' workstations often contain useful information files and utilities. Okay, emails. Uh, hello, Morgan. Glad to hear you coming on board. Uh, your first official work day is Monday, March 15th. But first, we have a series of training exercises with one with all new employees. Just stuff to clear, uh, clear you for life in orbit. Ooh, I'm going to space! That's good. Um... Exciting times ahead. Have a good flight. We'll see you soon. Thomas Tucker, Human Resources, Talos Research Facility. What the fuck did... What is this? What did I do? Okay, the middle mouse button does something. That's interesting. Delivery. Can I... Can I... No. Excuse me. Ow. God. Can I... No. Uh, oh. F. F. What is this? Hey, I sent the package with everything you need for your 
Per day, uniform transcribe and the new run new row mod. Install a new row mod by this way. Else we'll be running some tests first thing in the morning. Just follow the instructions. I'll be in touch. Alex, ready? Uh, hey, I just got off the phone with mom and dad. They won't be there when the shuttle departs. They're in New York. Company stop. But they send their best. I think mom's a little disturbed that both her children are going to be outside of her gravitational pull at the same time. She said you better behave and do everything your big brother says. Okay, actually, she said the opposite. I'm supposed to behave and do what, and do what you tell me. So there you go. That's mom. Anyway, everything. Anyway, uh, everyone's excited about your ideas up there. So get ready. I'll prob call you in the morning to make sure you're up. See you very soon, Morgan. Alex. Okay. Cool. Cool. Awesome. Nice. I'm just I'm just going through and reading everything. This is this is I'm just sat here and this is not productive. Okay, and uh oh. oh. Interesting. On the stork tower, analogy. A Tiang poet of Tiang poetry. Well I can't read it. That's a shame. Can't read Mandarin. Don't read Mandarin. I don't read it very well. Uh, nature of consciousness remains deeply mysterious. How can the subjective nature of experience in my in my, my inner life be explained in s scientific terms? Does consciousness emerge from complex com computations among brain neurons, or is it a fundamentally reducible property woven into the fabric of the universe? The thing is, you can't ignore all of these script. You can't ignore these. The, these are they're a part of the game they're here for a reason they give you a deeper meaning i know it's a pain in the ass i know but hey well go big consider there are billions of stars in the galaxy like us so many of them far older some of these stars will have earth-like planets some of these planets may be may have developed intelligent life. Some intelligent life may develop interstellar travel. If a civilization began before ours, it seems possible, even probable, that even at the speed of currently envisioned interstellar travel, they could already have the entire galaxy colonized. The problem is we haven't de detected any such civilizations, nor have any contacted us. Why? Interesting. Very interesting. So much shit to read! So much shit to read. Anything in the cabinet? No? Hello? Okay, I'm just going to climb on the sink. For no reason. Good. That's good use of my time on the sink. Very good use of my time. I love the sink. Can I climb the toilet? No, but I can flush it. Okay, let's have a shower. Ah. Okay. Oh, that was a good shower. That was a very good shower. Let's dry myself off by climbing on the shelf. Boy, I do love climbing on the things, don't I? Don't half love climbing on shit. Quite the little, uh, quite the little uh, sporadic monkey. Can I take a tie? Uh, today, I am going to have the spotty orange tie. Shows dedication. Shows qualities. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Forgot. Excuse me. <laughs> Okay, okay, all good, all good, all good, all good, all good in the hood. Whew, that, that felt good. Gotta, gotta do them, them, them memes, bro, them memes. Uh, ooh, I can switch on lights. That is nice. Uh, let me guess. Ooh, a mug. I broke the mug. Good use of my time. Uh, of course, we need to climb on the counter and then jump off the counter. I'm liking this already. This is very good. Uh, of science and cooking. No. No, thank you. I'm not interested. Not interested. The heart. I gotta read this. Heart of the walk. Cooking with a well seasoned walk can be a sublime, most almost spiritual experience. The many layers of the blackened surface are like stored memories of all meals that have gone in and out of the carbon steel steel bowl before. Now imparting echoes of their rich flavour to every new meal it is a ta it is task to cook. There you go. Go fig. Um, walks these days are now philosophical things. Very philosophical. Okay, let's get in the suit.
Let's get in this suit. Let's get that suit on. Let's get on it and just jump on it and be good with it. Right, new objective. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Get in the helicopter on the roof. I guess that's it then. We're done. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Morning, let's Mr. leave. Hughes. Oh. Morning, Patricia. Heard there's a chopper on the roof. Must be for you. Yep, I'm getting there. Have a good day, Patricia, with those pipes. Have a good one. Oh, Jesus Christ. That is... You whistle loudly, my dear. You whistle very loudly. Okay. Roof. I love how it's got a symbol. It, M M Morgan New is so important that the entire complex made a... <laughs> the entire complex... Oh, hang on. Oh... Silly me, silly me. I'm silly. I'm stupid. I'm stupid. I'm sorry. It, uh, the the lift identifies you and then goes, hello, Mr. You. And then you can actually select my floor. Would be a bit awkward when there are multiple people in the lift. <laughs> Just saying. Would be a little bit awkward. Okay, roof access. Ah, here we go. Chopper. Looks very nice. Very nice chopper. Quite, quite. Anyway, let's get in then. Let's get it. Wow. That is a fancy chopper. Okay. Okay. Oh. Ha. <laughs> oh, they're using credits. They're doing the credits and the theme tune, the opening shit. Let's see if we can spot all the credits. Shout out for credits below. Let's see if we can spot them. Let's find the credits. Keep your eyes out for the credits. If you spot them, say them in the comments below. I won't, I won't, I won't hate you for it. God. Well, there we go. There's some more credits. Arcanine Production. Arcane. Arcane. My bad. Not Arcanine. Arcane. I apologize. That was my bad. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this music is super loud. Maybe I should have adjusted audio. Okay, fair enough. Oh well. Nice view though. Not gonna lie, nice view. Nice, nice, very nice view. Okay, here we go. We're at the headquarters of wherever this is. I I don't know. You see, I've literally seen nothing. I've hardly seen anything of this game. There we go. There's the title. Very, very epic. It's gonna come into view. There we go. Look at that epic title with the sun in the background. Ah! Gorgeous with the birds and everything. Ah, thank you. Mind the glass. Where's the glass? I don't see the glass. Punk! There it was. Yeah, can you can you fuck off now? Can you switch it off? Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh. Hi. So this company we're working for is Transstar. That's good. Hello, science operator. I'm Sybil, 495, science class operator. Okay. My instruments are calibrated for high volume data analysis and live readings. Don't oh. worry. Nothing will be missed. Really? You, you're definitely staring at me and have a nice big orb down there. Are you planning to use your big testicle to uh, ram it at me? From behind, I don't, I don't want to kind of. It's, <sighs> I, I just hope there's a lawyer involved in this. I just hope there's a lawyer. Okay, I'm just gonna, Welcome, just gonna. You. You thank you. Okay. Good. Yes, yes, I shall confirm. There's the big testicle machine in front of it. There we go. Okay, the testicle machine's not going to follow me everywhere. That is good. That is good to know. The massive testicle machine knows no bounds, no limits, no nothing. Okay, here we go. Hey, Alex, buddy. How's it going? Hey, Alex, you. Oh, you my brother? Are you my bro? Are you my hey. thing? Hey, whoa. You don't look terrible in a transfer uniform. Thanks, Alex. Why? Still red? Most likely. The test might seem a little unconventional, but it's mm -hmm. a new family tradition. Uh, Breaking convention is in our blood. Okay. Once you start the test, just do whatever comes natural. Okay. Don't overthink it. Dr. Bellamy is going to walk you through the process. 
They're in good hands. Okay. We'll be in orbit next week. I promise. Oh, all right. They're ready for your brother and you now. Right. Okay. Is he? Listen. Just be yourself. Okay, Listen Alex. Now, is he the older brother or is he the younger brother? Not for you. That's a question. That's a massive question. I only want to know. Okay, room A. Here we go. Testing rooms. We're in the air. Uh, get, get. Bye. Bye, Alex. See you, bro. Okay. They closed the door on me while I'm at it. Hey. Hey, guys. Good morning, Morgan. Hi. I'm Dr. Bellamy. Good to meet I you, Bellamy. Some tests to run through today. Yes, Probably we do. Not the kind of thing you're used to, I imagine, but trust me, you're going to be fantastic. Okay, Are good you? to know. Great. Let's begin. Okay. For this first test, I'd like you to remove the boxes from the red circle as quickly as you can. Uh, Just go with your gut. Okay? Okay. Wonderful. Press the red button when you're ready. Okay. Uh, um, alrighty then. I gotta remove them. Uh, and bleh, and uh, bleh, and uh, bleh. There we go. Did it. You're absolutely fine. Uh, uh, let's move on to room B. Then. You stuttered there. You stuttered. I'm not liking this, guys. I'm not liking this. This isn't right. This isn't right at all. What? What now? What is this? Okay, Morgan. Listen carefully. What's with the old camera? You do your best to hide in this room. Uh, Wait, what? What? Nine you seconds? When you're ready to start. Uh, the fucking. Uh, eh, eh, ah. Is he? Ah. He's hiding behind the chair. Yes, I am. Ha ha. Mm -hmm. Ha ha. Ha 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 ha. ha. Mm -hmm. Synaptic register? At all? No? Ha. Ha! That's fine. What? What are you trying to prove? Head into room C. I don't get what you're trying to prove. Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. You're lying. You are lying. You wanted more. Come back here and talk to me. And your back is coming around there and showing you what, what, what now? All right. Here we go. For this okay. Test, please press the blue button across the room as quickly as you can. In the most natural, intuitive way possible, without thinking. Just, just go for it. Press the red button when you're ready. Are you trying to make some magic here? Because I'm not quite sure what you're on about here. Okay? Call me bullshit on this. You're trying to make me something better than I'm not. <sighs> Blush the blue. I'm sorry, can someone please explain to me what's happening? Please? Yeah. I installed exactly what Tina thought Bell. Okay. Double check. Speaker still on. Yeah. Hi. I apologize, Morgan. We're having some trouble with the equipment. Are you? It's not your fault. You're doing fabulous, actually. One last room. Let's step into B. Can you tell me what I'm meant to be doing? If you can tell me what I'm meant to be doing, I could help you with this. Fuck's sake. All right. Fine. Whatever. What? What now? Can someone get me a cup of coffee? I would appreciate it. Uh huh. Thank you. All right. Okay, Morgan. Have a seat at the table for me, please. All right. What? What do you want me to do? Wonderful job. Take a look at the screen in front of you. All right. I'm going to show you a series of questions. Pick the answer that makes the most sense to you. Okay. Press start on your screen when you're ready. Is this how it's going to customize? Is, is this game customization? Is it going to customize my experience for me? Let's see. Whenever you're ready, Morgan. Oh, freaking F. You're planning a vacation. Go somewhere familiar you you know you love or try something new. Huh. Ooh. Shut up, I'm picking. Um... Oh, you see, you know what? In this case, I go with, ah, no, um, you know what we go is, go with you. We go with you. Good. We go with you. Like you got the hang of it. Keep going. Shut up, you pet, you 
don't tag a prick. Um, you've been sentenced to death for your actions. How does that make you feel? Afraid, don't know what will happen. Angry, no one has that right. Calm, it was worth it. I'd say afraid. I'd say afraid. Don't know what will happen. Oh, that's heavy stuff. Yeah, thank you. A runaway train is bearing down on five people who are tied to the track. You can cause the train to switch tracks, but there is one person tied to the second track. <sighs> switch. Switch. More against a few. Uh, a runaway train is bearing down on five people. You're standing on a platform next to an enormously fat man. Pushing him into the track would stop the pr train. Lol. Push the fat man. Sorry. Almost done. Okay. Runaway train is bearing... What is with you and runaway train... You got a fascination with train accidents? Bellamy? Do you want to talk about this? Or you? Anyone back there? How about you? Science machine. Was this your idea? Was this funny? Fucking. Runaway train is bearing down on five people tied to the track. You could stop the train by jumping onto the track, but you would die. Jump on the tracks. Wow. I'm impressed. Really? Well done. Well done. We're nearly through it. For this next part, I'm uh, going to display an Okay. I want you to take a good look at it. In a moment... I I'm saw that. To, uh, I saw that. Attention. <gasps> oh! Oh! Uh. Oh my, what the hell? Oh! Okay! What's going on? We have a problem. What about Morgan? He's I'm sedated. Yeah. I'm on my way. Got it. Good morning, Morgan. Today is Monday, March 15th, calling that there's some bullshit going on here. Really? Really? Really big? Bullshit. Congratulations, Morgan. Alex. Huh. I'll take that. Interesting. Do I have the... Are they still all... Six emails? Danger, leave now. What? EOM, 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 EOM. We're not in space yet. And you're throwing this at me now. Right now, you are throwing. Where? Where? Any. Anything new? Anything. No? Leaving now, then. It says leave now. I'm going to leave now. Something ain't right. That alien jumped up and ate his face. Uh... Oh. 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 
what happened to her? Okay. Uh, hello. No, no. I guess I'm not. I, I, yeah. Okay. No oh, problem. Where, where am I going? Spare parts. Okay. Uh, right, the lift is gone. Swing the wrench with mouse one. Okay, escape my apartment. Uh, how would I... Ah, uh, right. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. What? What is going on? You're in the simulation lab. Now get to the exit. I'll keep uh, in contact. Okay, no problem. Audio events. First of the test running program. Nope, pitching visuals have been disabled due to a glitch in the data. Oh my. Oh my. Okay, what the fu- Midnight to 7.30 sleeping. 7.31 wakes up, turns off alarm. 7.32 checks transcribe. 7.34 to 7.55 on computer, various tax. Eight- Whoa! All that shit I did? They lo- What the f Fuck. Uh-huh. Um- Am I in space already then? Am I already here? Am I... What the fu Okay, we're gonna explore a bit, guys. We're gonna explore a bit here. We need to... We need to do the thing with the thing in the thing. And put it in the thing. Frayed wire. Okay, lol. Need, need. Take all that. Thank you. Uh... What the fuck? Okay, so I guess I am in space all fucking ready. Replacement prop storage are you. I'm taking all that wine and I'm gonna drink it and love it. Okay. Even more wine. More wi I know that's you. Get, get, get it. Oh, where'd you go? 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 Hmm. Son of a bitch. I know you're... I know you're around here. I know you're around here. You can't hide from me. You can't hide from me forever. You little punk. Fucking nail you. Okay, he escaped. Little shit escaped. There he is. Come on. Go. Oh, come on. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck off. Yeah. You little bitch. Necropocene. Oh. Mimic tumor. So I need to take. So I need something to use that. Okay, cool. I beat him. I beat him to it. So we're going to have this issue of uh, enemies turning up when they shouldn't. Where they are invisible, basically. Oh. Okay, so not that way. Okay, maybe this way? Maybe this way? Maybe. Ah. Sneak a sneak. Sneak a beak. Exit. Ah, look, there's the helicopter simulator. Helicopter Simulator 2.0. Good stuff. Yeah, thank you. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Take that. Good. Quick select. You can quickly alternate between weapons of powers, assign weapons of powers, inventory by pressing the number key. Okay. Oh. 
E. Okay, cool. No. Fuck. Okay. Alrighty. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't think I didn't see you that. Go fuck yourself. Everyone calls them mimics. Yeah. Be careful what you pick up. I get I get that. I get that. I get the idea. Emails. Note about this morning. Oh, I know this morning's incident left people shaken. To prevent unnecessary panic, please refrain from contacting people outside of your department. A station-wide announcement will be made shortly. In the meantime, Miss Elsa and her security team on high alert will field any requests you have. I know some of you are awake and worried about Dr. Bellamy. He's currently being treated in trauma center and he's in critical but stable condition. Thank you for your patience and dedication to this project. Alex Yu. Alex has, has requested all all orders to go through him after Morgan's outburst at the at the debrief, pending on pending a psych evaluation. Alex indicated that he doesn't want any more surprises from Morgan. Nor do we grant Morgan nor nor do we grant nor do we. Granted. Morgan had forgotten everything from the last test, as expected, but the aggressive response to the same same set of testing criteria was clearly a departure. My recommendation is we need to start charting personality drift before future tests in debriefings. And within the test itself, Bellamy. What? Okay, what is that about? What is definitely that about? All right. Are you a thing? No, you are not. You are not a thing. But there is that. Alex, Playback. So All right. What's going on? Okay. Okay, okay, so we heard that. We've heard that before. Now I'm gonna beat up Mimics with a wrench. It's gonna be great. I'm gonna bash them in the face. Gonna go boom, boop them to death. It's gonna be amazing. Okay. Stage B control room decontamination. What's what's over here? Who? I saw you. I saw you there. Don't think I didn't. There we go. Come here. You little... Yes, I knew it. Come here. There you are. Fuck you. Get it. Oh, there's two of you. Okay. Fuck you all. Fuck you all. <sighs> Don't think I didn't notice. Don't think I didn't notice with your bullshit. You can't get through this. These I see all. Mother fucks. Okay, so that's all dealt with. Press OK to reset the simulation. How about fuck you? Okay, simulation scene. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right. All right. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Looking glass off. Okay, that did something, but I think I can go through there, down at the bottom. I think. I think that, that could be a thing. That could be a thing. That could be the only, most important thing in my entire life right now. But I need to know what the fuck is going on. What is this? Oh, God. Oh... Oh my word. No one has been able to stop the mimics from multiplying since they broke containment. I'm going to help you stay alive. Just okay. a little further. Okay. Okay. This is good. This is brilliant. Are you this thing? No. Are you these? No. This? No. This? No. This? No. Oh. Okay. Search. Search locker. Biohazard thing. Okay, he's very dead. He's very dead. He got brutally murdered. Are you a... Hmm. You're not a thing. You're definitely not a thing. Which one of you is a thing? I need to know the thing. Okay. Next week's test. Jovan, we need the room updated to the new test plan. Configurations are as follows. 
Room A, area of effect. Room B, copycat. Room C, spooky action. Simmons, let us know if anything changes. Sylvan Bellamy. Okay, a note about this morning. Okay, urgent. Hey, I think Bellamy's taking data related to mimicry and the remote manipulation. The corpse vanishes. New objective. Okay, search for Bellamy's corpse in the trauma center lobby. All right, got to do that now. Get to the trauma center and grab the key card to, to his cabin off his body. I'm sorry to be morbid, but Alex will lose his shit if someone fi else finds that date at Marco Simmons. Okay. Right. Okay, so we got a shitload of stuff is going on. And there's a bunch of boxes here. That is a thing. And you're a thing. No, you're not. Okay. I don't like this. Ooh. All right. Wait, what? Experiment with different approaches to overcome challenges and enemies. You can get past the locked door by searching for the key card or finding an alternative path. Oh, okay. Ha ha ha. Ha, which one of you? Which one? I don't like multiples. There you go, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here, you shit prick. No. Yeah, I thought as much, yeah. Penis. Come here. Come here. Fuck you. Yeah. Bitch. You can sit down and shut the fuck up. Well, I do things. And I do important things. Like check the calendar. Drop it on the floor. Be the best thing ever. Simulation lab. Ooh. I got the lab key. That is good. Emails. Okay. So. Dr. Bellamy here the results from today's personality test and seen some drift over from the last few trials. Compared to with previous results, this isn't the first time. I'll let I'll let Alex know. Most recent test pass uh, pass below for reference. Apply new vacation. Go somewhere. New. Ow! God, no. Fuck. I forgot that. Uh, you're being sentenced to death. Uh, afraid. Don't know what will happen. Uh, okay, so these are all my answers. Okay, fair enough. Daily test. Dr. Bellamy, at this point, Morgan's exhaustion is in it, inhibiting our ability to get any useful results. So that's to say nothing of the long-term damage we're likely, we're likely inflicting from constant neuromod insulation and removal. Tell me again why we've extended the testing indefinitely. Evelyn, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Getting a bit uh, woofy, getting a bit woofy. Re, have my people been... Have my people been coming to you? Sil, yes, I've noticed the same thing. You know I've, I can't divulge names, but there's definitely been uh, a spike in staff from your department reporting instances of acute anxiety. It's actually much worse with the psycho, psychotronic staff. I'm talking to Kelstrup about mitigating some of the stress there, but I'm concerned that these are not isolated incidents. I'm going to mention it to Alex in the next director's meeting, Matthias Cal. Interesting. So I'm guessing there's a lot of uh, strain due to these, whatever they're called, mimics sitting around. Yep. There we go. You think you can fucking really, you really think you can fool me with a chair? No. Not happening. Not a chair. Never a chair. Uh, hey, Alex, I'll send you the white paper Alex and Morgan wrote. Here's, here's the nutshell version from now. Getting a new skill from Newton Mod works similar to the way your brain creates new memories. In fact, it's impossible for now to separate the changes the mod makes from normal memory formation. So if I want to strip the neuro mod that makes you play the piano like Gustav Leintier, it'll it'll reset can you Thank you. Don't don't I'm reading here, Morgan. Stop messing around with the wench. Wench, wrench. <laughs> Oh, God, English. It'll reset your brain back to the moment before you first installed it. They want Morgan's mind pristine to receive the prototype neuromods. That means going way to the hell back. Hence, the apartment sim. Thus, are dedicated to their science is all I can... Yes, they are dedicated to their science, all I can say. Hit me up, Belinda. Okay, so the thing that I've got in my head has kind of... Um, kind of shut off... Uh, my memories and everything else, and I'm probably my character before this was so dedicated to it that he went, "I'll volunteer, I'll do this," and he knocked in, and he knocked himself so far back that he wanted to reset and test these newer mods, these newer, more awesome mods, 
which are different from what... What is this about? Hacking required. Which is probably the abilities that I'm probably going to get later on. Thing. Kind of. Thing. Sort of. Okay. Unlock. Boop, boop, beep. Okay. Hello? Oh, hi. Hi. Okay. Okay. You're only going to tell me that. That's fine. Okay. Great research, like all new bold ideas, has undergone predictable pattern in the scientific community. Thus, skept first skeptics ridic ridicule the idea since it violates conventional wisdom and the laws of science. Second... Skeptics grudgingly concede the idea might be possible in some circumstances, but the evidence is weak. Third, the idea catches the attention of mainstream researchers and, more importantly, the public. Fi finally, the same skeptics who once laughed at the idea now claim that they thought of it first. Interesting. 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 That's cool. That's cool. A bit weird, but cool. Okay. Uh, okay. Repair. Repair skill. Well, I don't have that, do I? I don't have the repair skill. I don't really have any skill. Hmm. A lot of frozen shit here. That mimic is frozen. That is interesting to know. And he's dead. Good to know. I'm going to take this. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, glue cannon. Okay. Uh, disables immobilizes targets without harming them. Can extinguish flames into... Oh. Press 1. Press and hold. Okay. Okay, excuse me. Ha, 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 ha. Fuck you! Ooh. Okay, so I guess I'm going to fight the phantom with this thing. <laughs> come out. Come out wherever you are, Mr. Phantom. I'm here to play... Not with you guys. Do you mind? I, I see you. In the foyer. Grab the neuromod you see in the display case. Okay. Fair enough. But I swapped in a real one for you. The neuromods are critical. You won't survive. I'm uh, yeah. using them to install new access. Fair enough. Yeah, about that. I'm in the middle of a fight here. I'm in the middle of a fight here. Do you mind? Jesus. Ow. It, ow. Just. Can you. Can you? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Okay. Dealt with him then. Dealt with him. That's good. Who? Okay. So, what do I need to pick up? I need to pick up something. There's a mod in the foyer. Oh, that. Okay. I got you. Uh, that's going to be a bit annoying, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is. No. Right. Two. <laughs> Let's just use the numbers. Let's not use the angle key. Okay, here we go. First mod. Okay. Let's uh, whack that and take that. There we go. Uh, new amounts and abilities. That allows you to learn. Press N to open your transcribe and navigate new record section. Okay. Let's go through. Hi. Can I have a look? Thank you. Um, scientist, engineer, security. Interesting. What is this? Lift heavy objects. Repair. Cool. What is that? Conditioning. Increases my health. Scientist. Okay. Physician. Ooh, medical practices. Ooh, hacking. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to take this first. I'm going to take repair first. Because I think that will work out really well. It worked so well for me. Look at... Oh. Ah! 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 No. Yeah. Let's get you to the main lobby. Okay. Okay. That is good. That looked cringing as hell. And it was awesome. But unfortunately for now, I'm all out of time for this episode. 
Yep, it's, um... That's an epic start to a game if I've ever seen one. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That was awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. This is brought to... This is made by the same guys who made Dishonored and Dishonored 2. So this is... This is going to be one hell of an epic experience. And yeah, we're going to play through it. We're going to get through it. And we're going to see and do the best that we can. So yeah, hopefully you guys are along with me for the ride. Because I think it's going to be awesome. But unfortunately for now, as I say, I'm all out of time. So thanks for watching today, guys. If you like this video, give that like button a bit of a poke. Smack that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Skaddish!